Okay, and up on the stool there. Real up tall. here? It's all the shirts and the jackets. And the we need the jackets zipped or you want to leave them? Why don't we zip them up and go about right? About half yeah. mast. Okay, good. The story goes that seven of the astronauts who died in the 1986 Challenger explosion are alive and well. And the pilot, Michael J. Smith, is a professor emeritus at UW-Madison. Because I live in the Madison area, looking up Michael Smith had been on my to-do list for a while. Of course, you can't just call up and leave a voice message asking him if he's part of an evil scheme to deceive the sleeping masses. A better way would be to find him in person and ask him. So that's what I did. Is Challenger pilot Michael J. Smith alive and well? Take a look at the footage and let me know what you think. Hey there. Hey, sorry to bother you. I was pulling out and I, I saw you. I just came by to... Are you Michael Smith? Yeah. Professor at uh, university? Retired. Retired? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just stopped by because there's this room. Are you aware of that there's a rumor on the internet? It's that, not me. That people are saying. Yeah, it's not me, obviously. I mean, anybody that looks at my background, looks where I was born, it's not me. I mean, it's interesting that the uh, Michael J. Smith that was the astronaut looks something like me when we mm -hmm. were younger. But really not, if you really look at facial recognition. You've never been a pilot, never been in the military? Nothing, nothing like Smith that. Mike one of the best flyers in the world, and he's great to have in the, in the shuttle, and I'm glad to have him aboard as a pilot. So here's Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Uh, let me echo uh, what Dick said about it's uh, good to be down here and uh, to be flying a vehicle that we know a lot of folks down here have worked very hard on. We understand it's ready to go, and we're looking forward to going to fly. Uh, I'm one of the three people on board who, who's, and it'll be, be my first time to fly, Krista McAuliffe and uh, Greg Jarvis, will all, it'll also be their first time, and we're just all looking forward to getting on over and getting the uh, secret handshake. <laughs> I'd like to uh, introduce now Judy Resnick. She's, a, she's our center seater, and uh, keeps Dick and I honest on the uh, system no. problems. Okay. Yeah. That's all and I, I just don't, can. And I don't respond to the emails I get. I get probably an email, maybe two a month. Really? That, yeah, and I got one yeah. guy that's been uh, really hounding me, and I, I put, turned it over to the FBI. Really? You know, yeah, I mean, it's bullshit. Okay. You know, another crazy theory. Okay. But that's, you know, not me. All right. I, I, I'm glad I wasn't him, but he was quite a guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, he, but if you, if you look at my career, you look at my CV that's online, all the stuff I've published, all that I've done, it's not even close to what that guy Where we are now, you're going to be upstairs. Of course, I'll, I'll probably come down and help set up this camera, but okay. we'll be, I'll You'll be back be over, over here there. or up or upstairs. So if right at the end I could get everybody over here, that would work. Everybody, everybody could come over if you wanted to. Jim yeah. could come down from upstairs. Yeah, I, could, I think that would be nice. I think, oh, that's sure going to be great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you just sure look a lot. Is the same I name. Know, I know yeah. the facial thing, but that's that's what we looked like, what, forty years ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Interesting.